Good morning. This is Angela Tomo with Dogwood Paper Arts. Welcome back to my channel. So we are working on day two of using up our um, two 12 by 12 um, pads of Stamperia paper, shabby rose, and they are 10 double-sided sheets. So that gives us 20 to play with. I have two extra packs other than these. And then I have this pack that I may trade out one of the others and use this with this because it would be absolutely stunning with some of these greens and stuff in here to go with this pink because I absolutely love pink and green together. So um, I may be using some of the sheets out of this to make pockets and stuff because I don't know if I want to go all pink, you know, I mean, it looks beautiful and everything, but I think some of these greens would be absolutely stunning in here. I don't see any postcards in here, but I do see that one. Let's have a peek at it. I may have already opened one of these. Yeah, I did. Of course I did. So I may be using up three pads of paper, um, which we would, which I might not finish in uh, the right number of days. But I see this one and I think I would like to exchange maybe something for this. Here I go, changing my mind already. Oh boy, that Angela. So what I'm going to do is just cut this right to there. And then I'm going to cut it right to there. Yep. Oh, better trim that a little bit better than that because that did not work. Go ahead and trim it up. And quarter inch round the corners. There we go. Let's move that. Wish these into the garbage. I'm not saving them. No, 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 no. I am using some stays on ink. Um, this is in the Timber Brown color. It's, it's pretty dark. It's not as vintagey looking as the Distress Oxide. You can see it can get pretty dark if you press a little too hard. But I think it will be fine. Maybe they were found in an old trunk somewhere. You never know. So I'm going to just put those right up there. So let's trade this out and see. So here's this one. Oh yes, I like that. Okay, so I am going to trade that one out. We have a rose and a rose and we have this rose and we may be able to find something kind of green to go right here. So this is going to become a pocket here. Now it looks to me like maybe I better trim it off just a slight bit more. Let's see if I put that right on the edge. Yeah, it'll be just a little too much. So I'm going to trim off the rose side just slightly. There we go. So that means I have to go back and quarter inch round it and pull up my timber brown. Well, let's have a peek. Yes, that's better. That leaves me a sixteenth of an inch around each side of where the pink shows. I like that. So I am going to glue on three sides. And 
and I'm going to apply that with a little bit of pink showing on each side and at the bottom and give that a good rub down removing any of the extra glue very pretty isn't it okay so now I know that I have to go in here this now it looks to me like maybe we should put some paper on the back so that somebody could write on it same way here we have two beautiful tags in there now the other thing I would like to do on this page while we're here I have a little card somewhere I swished everything off the back there so you have to forgive me a second while I find it oh I had this too that could go in there instead where did my paper go Angela what did you do with it well my goodness I don't know what I did with it maybe it's under here maybe I put them over here oh yes I did I put them over here to decorate here I guess but now my brain's thinking well let's go over here And let's do this. I'm going to put that on there a little bit crooked. And let's see. Put a little bit of this green in here. With attachments. just want a little tab of it maybe on each side mm -hmm. maybe not that one then no wrong let's just use a little bit of this just kind of put it like that a bit now I think I'm going to take some of my velvet pink and put on here and then I'm going to give it a light bit of the darker color I love these two colors together they really give a beautiful grungy look and I, I really like that okay so I'm going to put this kind of at an angle so we will need our three-in-one glue or the sewing glue for this I just filled my bottle so it should go well cleaned all my tips oh that was a chore a little bit crooked don't want it on the straight I'm going to leave this string hanging off of here and we're going to add this but we're going to use a three-in-one glue because I'm gluing it to fabric and I'm going to offset it from this square shape and then we're going to apply the little butterfly now I cut off his little antennas so he probably needs a couple of antenna 
what could we use for an antenna here? Is there something in here? Oh. Let's see. Um, <laughs> I don't even know why I'm worried about it, really. I mean, good heavens. That's too fat. Yeah, that would be way too fat. Let's go down again. Again. Nope, don't like it. Let's see, what could we do? Oh, hang on. I know what to do. Cross the room. And bring over the fun box of Let's see. Do those come apart? I don't know if this one does. does not make a very good antenna, does it? Yeah, well, it doesn't work very well either. Hmm. I really thought it would. Probably have to use regular. But I don't have black in the regular. Green. Or we could just not worry about it. Oh, I have that pretty color. That won't work. Well, I'm not going to do it. He's going to get added without any antenna. We can draw them on if we need to. I'm getting too complicated. I can't finish in six days if I get complicated, can I? So there he is. And then We can just draw his little antenna on. <laughs> but my pen doesn't work. But they're there. Okay. Done. Okay. So then let's decide here about this pocket. Um. We want two tags in there, or do we want a little envelope? Maybe the little envelope. So let's... Now this one looks like you can just write right on the inside. But I think it needs something. What does it need? Hang on. I think it needs just a little script. So 
let me bring over some scripty stamps. Here's this one. And I think maybe I'll go with the stays on black for the stamp. Kind of looks like an old letter that way. There we go. And so you could write on the inside of that if you wanted to. So let's go ahead and fold that back up. Put this down. And I think it's probably okay without getting decorated. It's already got a decoration here, and here's another butterfly. Let's put the roses up there. Okay, now we have this little piece. Um, I had suggested that we could put a little bit of green on it here. Um, it's probably not going to tear this way. <laughs> Can't tear it. Watch me struggle. Sometimes things just won't tear until you get a good hold on them. So I think we'll put just a little bit here. That's not those really loud motorcycles. Oh my goodness. Somebody has a really super loud one in the neighborhood. Some of my glue came through there because I wasn't careful. No, I don't want that on there. I want a little bit of grunge, but I don't want a lot of grunge. Um, let's just put an additional thing on here. Take some of that glue off. by putting this here and we will whoops oh, oh no it's not gonna work because it's a different kind of stuff Yeah, it's um, not going to work. Boy, I'm failing today, guys. Failing. Did you hear that? So, we have to revert to something a little different. Let's 
put that out there. And there. And we're going to put another one right there. Two. There. Yeah, just a little decoration. And then we may put some other things down here. I just don't know yet because we did leave room for some words or something down here. So that brings us over to this page. Now on this page I have the pocket and I wanted to put this on here. I won't put it at this angle because our last one is at that angle. I'm going to put it at this angle but I want to put some little um, brads in there. And um, I have these with the green on them. If I have another flat green, hang on. Let me see. It might be too big. I have a dark green. Those might be too big. Let's go with these tiny brads. Let's see, I haven't opened this one yet. <laughs> Opening them is dangerous. So I need the kind of coppery color. Oh, it's kind of gold, but that'll do. Um, where it is? Here it is. We want the tiny hole. Right there. Right there. It's not a very tiny hole. Might have to go with a bigger brad. Okay. Now I'm going to have to bend this so it comes in because we don't want them poking out the side and poking somebody. I'm going to separate those just a little bit. Put them in camera. I'm going to bend this that way and then we are going to Go ahead and apply this. I didn't set my timer. Darn it. Don't know that that glue is going to hold that, but let's, let's hope it does. Okay, so we're going to put this one right over here. And then we'll have to find a word for that. Hmm, what could we put on there? Um, this is going to go in here. So we need to put some um, paper on the back that we can write on. And well, this has a nice torn edge on it here. Let's tear this edge. So we need a tearing ruler. Oh boy, my desk is getting messy now. Oh, oh, oh. Let's throw that away. I'm going to go right about here. And then we just need to tear a little bit off of that one. Oh, get that out of the way. 
Sorry, my desk is such a mess, you guys. I've got ink on it. I haven't been able to get it out. So I just gave two of my old boards away to two of my sons. And uh, they were excited. <laughs> one of them got a really painty one. <laughs> a gluey one. But not as gluey and painty as this. Um, normally I keep one out at my dining room. Um, so when my granddaughter's over and we do art, we would just sit out at the big dining table because we can really spread out with our supplies out there because she's like me. She's, she's, uh, whew, loves to do the whole craft thing. She's great. Millie, I'm talking about you. If you and your mom are watching and picking up a craft idea. Sometimes the girls watch the shows and figure out what they want to make with their kids. So that's nice. Ooh, it's a little crooked. That's okay. It doesn't matter. Okay. So I see this script is still going this way and that way. It's um, probably okay for now. So let's go ahead and put this in here. Oh, my nose is starting to run. I'm sorry. Let me grab a Kleenex. And sniffle my nose. I apologize. It's that time of the year. Okay, so over here I already see something that I think would look really nice on there. Maybe these roses or this. Oh, I don't know. No, I don't think so. I think the roses will be pretty on something else. Let's see. I know I have something in here that can be a little grungy. I gotta stand up. I don't have my drawers quite situated yet. Now I need them. Those are specimen ones. I don't think I want to put a specimen one on there. No, not that. No, no. Looks like I got a lot of specimen ones. No, oh, but good idea, huh? Yeah. I'm going to leave that out. Um. Oh, I have this from Roxy's Creations. Oh. Um. Let's see. Oh, I hate to use it. Oh my gosh, you guys. This is terrible. I know what it needs. <laughs> it's a stalling day. It's not a not a working day. It's a, it's an I'm thinking of everything else day. Happy Father's Day? No. Happy Halloween? Miss you. Happy Mother's Day. Oh, Mom, I miss you. Handmade by. And then there's a bunny. Okay. Let's look here. Sacred Wings Morning Mist. Excuse my head. Mm. 
May a happy star always light your path. Well, too big. This sacred wings and morning mist is going to fit. I think we'll use this same color that I used around the edge. Okay, cross your fingers, guys. Are your fingers crossed? Oh, oh, look how pretty. Oh, I love it. Because we have a lot of butterflies in here, that's perfect, isn't it? Let's put that back in here. Oh, I love it. Love, love, love. So... Nope. Let's just leave it for now. Okay, now I think over here, that's going a little bit sidey ways. So let's look here for a second. No, nope, that's not it. So you can see I'm breaking into the other pack. I may not be able to do a kill your journal pad. Okay. I'm going to pull this out. And maybe this. But may oh, I love that. Oh my gosh, I love that. We might use a half of one of these. Not right there, we won't. Okay. I kind of like the idea of this being a little place that you can write on and still see the background as well. And it would still be like a little tuck area. So now it looks like I've committed myself to three pads. Oh my gosh, Ange. Put that up there. That over there. Put the pen that doesn't work away. And... Go there and here and we'll cut that off. We might as well just cut this one off while we're here in case we want to use it. Oops, I cut the white off on that one. See that? I cut the white off. I cut it right to the brown. Oh, Ange. Well, we'll just brown this side up. Corner around. Ah, I kind of feel like I need to trim it right up to the edge, you guys. Sorry since I did the other one. Just a little little quirky thing. It's one of those things. It's like, oh, it is not right. There. That looks better. Okay. Now around the edge.
Sorry, my arm gets in the way. Get rid of that little doodad. Okay. Hmm. Now I don't like it. It perhaps needs a butterfly on it. I know I have a littler one. Oh, how about that? Could do that. I like that. Okay, that's what we're doing. Here and here with glue. All right, girls, get out your papers and make your accordion book. And guys, if there's any guys, get out your papers and make an accordion book. Craft along with me. Okay, I do like that, yes. And do you think, no, I don't, I don't think it needs anything else. Because I already inked around this one. We could have left it as a little pocket at the top there, but I did not. So there we go. Oh, I like that. Now, we can tuck in this postcard if we want. Or we could tuck in a piece of paper that somebody could write on. Um, perhaps we would maybe put a tag in with it. Why not? I have this tag here. And um, we could hole punch it here. And we could brad it. This brown, thinking brown. Although I used that over there, so better go with kind of a coppery one over here. Not that one. There we go. Perfect. And then hopefully I have this set up right. We'll know in a second. Yep, it worked. <laughs> you always find out in a hurry whether you did it right or wrong. Now I need one of these. If I didn't cut them all off too short. Okay, maybe just a little off of that side. No, I don't like it. Sorry, it doesn't work. I, <laughs> I was going to put it in there, but I just couldn't see doing it. It didn't work. What it needs. It's so pretty pink. Like, let's put this one in. Let's put a couple of them in. Do 
you guys do this? Start just pulling stuff out and wow, look how offset that is. Um, we can tie this or we can do that loopy thing and glue it. Or we can make a bow. Don't make a bow. can be no don't like that don't like that okay put it through this way <laughs> pull those through and there we go Perfect. Okay. Moving on to the next page. I'm going to pull that out there a little bit. Okay. So now we have this. And this would make a good pocket here. We're going to do a double pocket this time. We're going to do a double pocket with this paper too. Okay. There. We'll get that off. Goodbye, little note card. Goodbye. I hope I cut one of them right. Okay. Now. This is going to go like this. This end is not straight. It is very crooked. Probably is not the same size now. So this is crooked, not this. Okay. So I'm going to have to just give that a sixteenth of an inch trim. Okay. Back to the stays on. Okay, so there we have that. Now, the first thing we need to do is push those two together. Um, this one here does not need to be this long. So we are going to trim it right here. Not that white, white circle that is starting there. And we're going to pull these all up together. Figure approximately where our middle is, which is going to be, let's see, one, two, one, two, so right about there. There's about our middle. And we need our circle punch. Here's my reach. So right about there. This way these are going to be um, even. Our, our 
little whatchamacallits there. And take our stays on. We only need to do a little bit of this. We won't need to do the bottom at all. So I think what I will do first is glue this and hopefully that is even and then I'm going to glue this side. Okay, make sure there's no glue on the back <laughs> other than what we're going to put on the three sides. Okay, get rid of that. We don't need the junk in our book, do we? going to center this one on the page because we have a little plain area around each edge. Get my towel. Oh I'm so glad I pulled that other pack in. I was really worried about how it might look um, and I, I didn't want it to look funky you know, so let's see. Okay, now we're going to corner round fourth of an inch. And the neat thing about this one, and I don't have my sewing machine hooked up right yet, or I would do it, but this paper here has stitching around it. So it would be very cool to stitch this one and, um, and put a stitched piece in there. Okay, so we need a piece of coffee day on this one, on the back, I would assume, yep. I'm going to flip this over. I think we will tear it. This will be the last page we do today. And then hopefully tomorrow I will work faster, right? <laughs> I'm going to take that right to there. Oh, there we go. I'm going to tear that there. I'm going to tear it up here. Oh. Excuse my runny nose, my gosh, I'm so sorry. And then this has a nice brown edge on it where she did her coffee dyeing. And I think I will go ahead and Give these a little round because I did that. Oh, that is just beautiful.
Now I could have inked around this. I didn't, as you know. But it would look nice with some ink around it. But it does have the um, coffee dye edge on it, which I really love that too. Okay, let's put our stays on around this postcard. Give it a good squish. And like I said, if I can get my sewing machine over here, I can't right now because I have a lamp right there. It's a big, tall light that um, gives me light here and makes it better for you to see, I hope. Okay, so we're going to put this one in here. And I think maybe, should this one go here? And what else could we put in there? Oh, I like this. Looks like an envelope. How's that? Okay, so we have this page with our, our cover that we can add to later. We have our little flippy thing with papers in it. Um, we have our pretty little thing I uh, waste a lot of time on. We need to add some words down here or something. And then we have this page with just a postcard in it. It's a very simple page and just some words. Then over here we have our side tuck. And our last page for today is right here. So we are one, two, three, four pages in. Five. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh dear, oh dear, I'll have to work faster tomorrow. Now we could do a belly band here using this and then just tuck a piece of paper into it. What do you think of that idea? Or we have a butterfly that we could use here. That's kind of pretty, isn't it? And we could make it a belly band. Just for a tuck spot for, um, you know, a piece of coffee dyed paper for writing on. Should we do that? I feel like we need to put some things in it first though. Let me think about it. I'm running away with my thoughts again. But if we put some coffee dyed paper in it, it would sort of look like this. Which would not be bad at all. That would be pretty. We could do that. And then put a half round piece down here. One of these. Cut it in half. Oh, and there's the word joy. We could put the word joy down there. Oh, I think maybe one of these might be better. We might find a butterfly in um, the other paper pad. So we might look at that too. Okay, well, we are done for today. Thank you for joining me, and I hope this didn't pull out for too long. I um, forgot to set my timer, Angela. Okay, well, I am eager to get done with it anyway. So I will talk to you tomorrow. Have a great day. Bye-bye.